Hi everyone, Vacha here from Recording Studio 9 and thanks for joining me again today. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how I'm going to use Fraction T7, the free DAW, as well as my Yamaha AG03 USB audio interface mixer, which I can not recommend highly enough. It's one of the best small footprint mixer audio interface that it can take a microphone, it can take directly a guitar or a bass guitar, as well as keyboards and synthesizers, and mix them into a stereo output into your uh, DAW. But at the same time, it has loopback function. That means you can actually listen to your voice or whatever instrument you're trying to record directly while you're actually listening to the backing tracks. At the same time, it's really fantastic for even doing this video presentation. So anything you hear now is coming through the Yamaha AG03. I will put a picture of it uh, just, just here so you can see what it looks like. And I do have several videos on this audio interface. If there's one audio interface you want to buy and you're just starting out, just buy the Yamaha AG03. It will do you fantastic for recording music, recording podcasts, and everything else. And today I'm going to demonstrate how I'm going to play a karaoke song on YouTube while recording in Traction T7 at the same time. So basically, my microphone is connected to my Yamaha AG03. The AG03 is connected to my laptop, just like my example in my videos. And I have Traction T7 open. And I want to record the karaoke music as well as my vocals all at the same time into one track, not separate track. And that's demonstration. I'll do that in the second part. So to be able to record it, I've got my track one here, but there's nothing assigned to it. So I'm going to right click and I can see that it's got uh, my a Yamaha AG03 available as well as my input one and input two. Now, this will actually, if I select input one, that means it's only going to record the left channel or input two, the right channel. But what I want to do is record the stereo channels, but at the same time, select input one first. Here, when you select as input one, now you can see the signal going up, but that's only the left channel. Down here, you can actually see treat as a stereo channel pair. Now it disappeared, don't be, don't, because now it says input one and two, because now it's trying to record as a stereo pair, and you can see two level signal levels going up and down. So let's arm for recording. So anything I say now, it will be recorded as soon as I start, hit the record button. So now let's choose the song. Now that we've got everything all ready to record on Traction 7, before we start recording, let's choose the song. Well, the song that I have chosen today to sing is Quando, Quando, Quando from Engelbert Humberdink. So um, I hope you like it. It's uh, one of my old favorite songs that I used to sing. Also, I have to mention that um, my throat hasn't been that well lately, but it will give you the right example anyway. So in the background, I do have traction running and it's ready to record. So I'm going to hit the record button, switch to the uh, YouTube video, play it, sing, and then come back and have a listen to it. So here we go.
stop there. And you can also hear there's reverb in the background now. That's not the reverb from traction. Uh, that's actually reverb coming from the Yamaha AG03, and I can press the button and turn it off. So that's how good it is. I've got compression and reverb available directly at any time at my fingertip to press on it and then get some uh, reverb as well. And you can adjust all that within your PC with the uh, adjust, uh, you know, um, control tool from Yamaha. So let's just uh, stop that now, recording. And there it is. So let's rewind back. I'm just going to move that beginning part. We don't need to record anymore. So let's uh, have a listen, shall we? <laughs> I hope I sounded all right. But um, Share a low divine. Please don't make me wait again. When will you say yes to me? Well, there we go. That's the recording. So now that we've got the recording done, let's enhance a little bit. And for this, I'm going to use Ozone 8 elements that I got it virtually for nothing. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave it in the description. I hope by the time you're watching this video, that offer is still available because I got Ozone 8 elements virtually for free. I just spent $2 buying something else and I got Ozone 8 elements for free. So I'm going to add that and see what we can come up with. So to do that, I'm just going to drag from the top and put it here and then select VST plugin and Ozone 8 elements. Okay, I've got Ozone 8 elements in there. So let's do the first thing. Let's just do Master Assistant and see what we can come up with. I'm just gonna click on that. It's always a good idea to actually use the part where um, it's the loudest and the most. So I'm just gonna about there. And let's just click that again. Next. And play. Tell me quando, quando, quando. We can share a low divine. Please don't make me wait again. When will you say yes to me? Tell me quando, quando, quando. Okay, let's have a look what it's done. It boosted the bass a little bit, um, 0.9 dB gain there from uh, 200 hertz, and then boosted up a little bit, 8, about 0.8 dB, yeah, not bad. But I think uh, bass is a little bit too loud, to my liking. I might actually bring that down a little bit. That should be fine. And then maximizer, well, we'll leave it at that. It's going to target minus 14 dB LUFS which is good, and just going to leave everything as is. And you can see from the graph here the amount of compression it's actually going to be doing. So let's... So basically, that's what it can do. Um, in very simple terms, just adjust a little bit and and make it a bit louder. And in the equalizer section, it uh, just boosting a little bit at the bottom end and a little bit at the top end. That's because most likely the K 
karaoke audio file is already mastered, you know, ready to go. There's not much that it needs to do. Of course, Ozone Element 8 is not just a simple EQ and uh, um, limiter or maximizer, or uh, as well as the imager. You can get the imager separate module as well to download. But in the equalizer section, one of the really interesting thing is that at the moment, it's selected as a stereo. So it's equalizing the stereo image of, uh, of, of the audio left and right signal. But you can also select as mid side. That's when it becomes really interesting. That means you are able to equalize separately the mid channel, which is the mono channel in the middle, uh, which is usually bass and kick, separately to the side channel, which is like the stereo side, the left and right, separately. And you can adjust that to get even better results. That's what you can do to enhance your already mixed sound. So you can have your mid frequencies adjusted separately by maybe reducing the bass a little bit or adjusting the highs and, and whatever is suitable different to the side frequency and enhance your stereo image without affecting too much of your signal. But that's probably for another video. Well, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. Now you know how you can actually record a karaoke song from YouTube using your Yamaha AG03 or any of the current audio interface that you have to a certain degree into Traction T7 and record it live and then use Ozone 8 elements to actually enhance your recording. In my next video, I will show you how to actually either record or drag the mp3 file of the karaoke music into Traction T7 or any DAW in, the, in that case and then record your audio, your vocals separately and enhance it and then we're gonna go through some of the Ozone 8's other special functions that's available to make our music sound even better. Till next time, don't forget to give me the thumbs up and if you have any comments, any questions that you might have, make sure you comment below. I'm more than happy to answer them for you. Don't forget to subscribe and as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. Cheerio guys.